my name is Tim Crump and I teach the saxophone and the clarinet. I'd like to talk about some issues that are pretty common for beginners um, related to saxophone equipment. This video is kind of intended for students that are just starting or maybe within their first year of playing. One of the most common issues facing beginners is how to put the reed on the mouthpiece and how to assemble the saxophone properly. I begin with the neck detached from the saxophone. This is important because when putting the mouthpiece on the neck, it is possible to actually press the mouthpiece on with some pressure downward. And when the neck is screwed in and tight, this downward pressure can actually bend the neck down. Over time, this can lead to the neck cracking about right there. I've had this happen before and it cost me a, nearly a thousand dollars to replace. So I would highly recommend putting the mouthpiece on properly. We begin by putting the mouthpiece on the neck. The mouthpiece is adjusted in and out for tuning. For most beginners, the mouthpiece is going to need to go about two-thirds the way down. Your teacher or band director will have you adjust it. Then, we moisten the reed. Some people prefer to moisten the reed with saliva, some people with water. Honestly, it's not going to matter that much. I prefer to moisten it with water, and I always keep a little pill bottle with water in it. Moisten the reed. And if you look at the back of the reed and the bottom part of the mouthpiece, you'll notice they look very similar. The goal is to align the reed with the mouthpiece, about like so, so that a hairline of the mouthpiece is showing. You don't want to put it too far to one side or too far to the other side. You also don't want the reed to be too far down or too far up, but just right. Then I take my ligature and I slide it over the reed. Your ligature may be designed so that the screws go on the bottom. It may be designed for the screws to go on the top. It doesn't especially matter which. So you slide the ligature on. And I should note that when I slide the ligature on, I'm holding the reed with my thumb. Slide the ligature on, make some final adjustments, tighten the screws, and you're all set. Some ligatures are designed for the, with the screws on top, others are designed with the screws on bottom. Whichever direction it points does not really matter, especially for a beginner. So I get my ligature in the right place, I do some final adjusting of the reed, and I tighten the screws. You want the screws to be firm, but not always as tight as they'll go. And then I loosen the next screw, and gently slide the neck into the receiver. I want to make sure that I'm not putting the neck in at a strange angle. So I generally recommend students go pretty slow like with this. Also, it's important not to push the neck front and back, but you gently turn it left to right if you feel some resistance. Then I tighten the screw. I want to make sure the neck is not going to move, and I'm ready to play. One of the most common problems I see with beginners in their first year, or even three years into playing, is that they're playing with the wrong neck strap. Neck straps are designed to work with different sizes of woodwind instruments. So for example, a, a neck strap designed for a larger instrument is going to have a longer cord. If the cord's too long, you will not be able to raise it up for the saxophone to properly come to your mouth. So how do you know if the neck strap's in the right place? I start with it too long, and I attach it to the saxophone. Then I hold the strap hook with one hand, and with the other hand, the adjustment. I slide it up to where the saxophone is coming to my mouth. You don't want it to be too far down, and you have to look down. You don't want it to be too far up, and you have to look up. So if I'm sitting straight up, 
I can get it just right.